He actually has flaming attacks, which is perfect for a frost troll. He's just ripping that thing apart. That takes care of that. Dude, that never stood a chance. You go, beastie beast. Oh, there's a stone in Baron's eye. Nice. Alright. Well, uh, now where? That is the question. Can't go through there. Ah, there's a passage there. That was very cunningly blended. Out we go. Alright. Dr. Delphine. Shall we? Back to Riverwood again? Oh. Yeah, do it. <sighs> Dragon. Yep. Gonna conjure Storm Atronach for this one because it has range attack. Look at that conjuration level already. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Well, are you gonna quit flying around and come down and attack, or what? I don't like it when the dragons attack places like Riverwood where there are a lot of people out in the open because if the NPCs die, they don't respawn. This one has a lot of health though, that's for sure. Off storm at your rock. Three dragon scales and an enchanted orc bow. It's pretty much as good as it gets. I don't know where my Dramora Lord went. There he is. Good job, buddy. His face is kind of weird, but whatever. Good partner to have. I'm going here to sell off some of this stuff. <laughs> he looks so weird in here. It's a fine day with you around. Uh, I want the frickin' shop owner. <laughs> he died. You and me, we're the only people it past around who aren't complete fools. Yeah, I agree. Riverwood tr Some may call this junk. Shut me, up. I call them treasures. Alright, I had to get rid of that extra weight because I Until know as time. soon as we get our gear back from Delphine, we're gonna have all that 
like all of our other dragon bones and stuff like that. Be careful. God, I hate the little kids in this game. Uh, okay. Roll skis. What you got? A gear chest. Gimme. Made it out alive at least. Yeah. Did you learn anything useful? Of course. Really? That seems hard to believe. You're sure about that. Mm-hmm. Esbern? He's alive? I thought the Thalmor must have got him years ago. That crazy old man. Figures the Thalmor would be on his trail, though, if they were trying to find out what's going on with the dragons. Bow. Why? You mean aside from wanting to kill every blade they can lay their hands on? Esbern was one of the blade's archivists back before the Thalmor smashed us during the Great War. He knew everything about the ancient dragon lore of the blades. Obsessed with it, really. Nobody paid much attention to I have that. smarties. I guess yeah. it wasn't as crazy as we all thought. Riften, eh? Probably down in the Ratway then. It's where I'd go. You'd better Sounds get to Riften. Talk to Brynjol. He's well connected. A good starting point, at least. Oh, and when you find Esbern, if you think I'm paranoid, you may have some trouble getting him to trust you. Just ask him where he was on the 30th of Frostfall. You'll know what it means. Okie dokie. Well, off we go. I see no reason to delay. Actually, on second thought, there is a reason to delay. Let's go to Whiterun and uh, sell off all that stuff that we have. To make room for further adventures. I'm texting someone right now. I'm not gonna lie to you guys about that. We make up excuses. But it's a female, you know. I know I know you guys understand. Got some good pieces. And girls, Finest like you understand too, because you like texting guys. Don't forget to check inside the shop. I am going to check inside the shop because this guy has to war, the finest his own weapons supply of money. Yeah, I'm not doing smithing on this playthrough. Okay. Good doing business. Matt, yeah, I'm out. Let me go. Need to go out into White Run. I used to be an adventurer like you until I took an arrow to the knee. Take a good look uh, around, uh, I'm sure. Uh, Everything's for uh, trinkets. Those jokes are funny. I don't, I don't care what anybody sort of says. Those jokes are entertaining as hell. All right. Let's go with God, we have so many potions. I don't actually remember selling like any of my potions at all for this whole playthrough, which is probably why we have so many. Um, quick, actually, quick save. I'm gonna do the shop trick here. Did that quick save? Yeah. Help! I'm in. No more. I yield. Really? How did that not hit? Get out of here. An archery level if we actually killed him too. Take a look. That's funny. Back to potions. Scrolls. Oh boy. Yep. Remember, I'll on. give you the best deals. Or die trying. Oh, that was a good one. Right in the head. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. A bit of this and a bit of that. Turkey, turkey. Sorry. It was unnecessary, I know. I don't need those either. Or that. I don't know how I missed those. Uh, scrolls. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Perfect. Books. Oh, we have books too. Gosh. It, it never ends. Like, we have so much money, I don't even know what to do about it. Welcome. Take a look. Uh, scroll down. Come on. I don't think we need any of these. I don't need that, that's for sure. We have a lot of miscellaneous, though. All right, then. That's it. We finally sold everything. How much money do we have now? 15k, well, and that's hey, after we that's spent like 4k on freaking spells just a minute ago, too. That's redonkulous, bro. Um, speaking of spells, I should really get 80 conjuration to double the power of the Atronox. Alright, yeah. Here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna actually, you know what, I'm gonna show you guys my spot. So where I go to train my conjuration is this place, this Grey Winter Watch. And uh, I don't actually go in there, it's this cave, like right there. I've never actually been in there, um, because all I do is travel to there, and then I climb down the rocks, and there are crabs here. So I take out Bound Sword, and this is only four levels, so it shouldn't be too bad. Actually more like three and a half. But yeah, you just find a mud crab, get them angry at you. And then you can usually find a spot where they can't reach you, otherwise just run in circles around them. Either way is gonna work. And this is how I power level my conjuration. See we went up already, and then I'm gonna sheet these, and then we actually, since we have a level up, we get like bonus basically. All right, so I have three perks to use still. Oh, hey, hey, this would be. Eh, I don't know if I need that. Yeah, why not? We have extra perk points. So basically, we need elemental potency, and then twin souls, and um, master conjuration, and then we're pretty much good. And I'm pretty sure once we get um, Master Conjuration, like the Master Level spells, I'm pretty sure don't go away. Or something like that, or I, I don't know. Something where your Conjured allies are permanent, I believe. Use a Highborn to regenerate Magicka. I know you guys don't like power leveling, but this is short, and I figured I'd show you my spot anyways. And then, if you're wondering, um, once my highborn runs out, I just run off, I kill the mud crab, and then I cast soul trap as many times as I can, and then I just wait an hour. And that, um, that way I don't have to wait 24 hours to get my highborn back again. Because soul trap is nearly as fast. I, I think found swords are a little faster, but... Should be just about there. Maybe one more. Yeah! 80 conjuration, alright. And up we go. Conjured Atronox are 50% more powerful. Or you can have two. I could have sworn there was something about your conjurations being permanent, but whatever. Alright, so uh, looking at the time, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Uh, these episodes, not this episode. Let's go kill that freaking mud crab. And, you know what? Where's the mud crab? Sorry, dude. Today's not your day. <laughs> that's that extra long casting range that we have now. Oh, 
that's going to wrap it up for this week's episodes. Thank you all for watching. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And um, that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.